How do you compete with the likes of Epic and Activision? What are your strengths that will enable you to do that? Hi, Emily. The, um, the thing that really makes this possible, frankly, is what Epic has built with the Unreal Engine and also what Unity does with its engine. Uh, both of those technologies really allow you to build a game that can be playable across a PC, a PlayStation, and a mobile phone all simultaneously. Uh, and then when you add that to uh, 5G infrastructure and AWS, uh, it really has never been easier and cheaper uh, to build a multi-platform game. And at Zynga, we have uh, several iconic brands and some unique uh, uh, licenses that we think will be really appealing to those, those fan bases. So we've, uh, and we've embarked on making uh, some games in that category, and we're very excited to announce those yesterday. Now, uh, you didn't buy for Glue Mobile, which EA just bought for $2 billion. And I'm curious, will we see you make some acquisitions? How big could they get? Well, well, as you know, we've been a, a, a pretty aggressive consolidator over these last few years, uh, buying Graham Games, Small Giant, Peak, and Rollick, in fact, in 2020, uh, just in October and July. So we're, we're big believers in bringing great, talented teams to Zynga and growing faster together. Uh, in December, we raised an $825 million convert uh, that combined with the rest of our balance sheet gives us a, a pretty good position to be able to continue uh, to acquire as we move forward into 21 and beyond. The good news is we have a really strong organic growth plan, so uh, we can be very selective and patient uh, with any of the opportunities that come along. We don't need to buy anything to grow, which puts us in a really good position. Now, we know that gaming has been surging amidst the pandemic in my own household as well. How well positioned are you post-pandemic when, you know, we can get out of the house and we don't have to be staring at a screen? Well, the good news is most of our business is on mobile phones. So you'll be taking that mobile phone with you as you return to work, uh, go back to school or go out, uh, out of the house. And what we find is that uh, during 2020, people really discovered interactive entertainment and games uh, in a new way. We had, we had millions of new users come into the, into the industry. Uh, we're seeing expansion internationally and people really are enjoying it and finding it as a good use of time. So the fact that you can play our games anytime, anywhere on, on mobile devices uh, means you can bring your games with you. Uh, and that's a good thing for us. And last quick question, we have about a minute left, Frank. It, you're, you're building your own ad network. What advantages will that give you? Well, I think it's gonna give us a, a much better sense of how players uh, come into our network, how we appeal to them with our games, uh, what creative works, and then along the way, uh, it's going to allow us to have a relationship with the player all the way through to the point where they enter the game and then play it for many years to come. Right now, we, we hand that off to some third parties along the way in terms of the ad networks. And by building technology that allows us to vertically integrate further into the ad ecosystem, uh, we'll be able to control that uh, player journey all the way through and make sure that it's as high quality as possible.